just in Indonesia alone, a, a country of population of 255 million people, if you're talking about straws alone, we're talking about 255 million people times 20 centimeters of plastic straw being discarded every single day. That is 5,000 kilometers of plastic being discarded on a daily basis. And that is equivalent the distance of Jakarta to Sydney. Scientists are now warning that there is more than a ton of plastic garbage for every person on the planet. Corporations have produced more than 9 billion tons of plastic since 1950, according to the Journal of Science Advances. Only a fraction is recycled back into industries, leaving most of it to sit in landfills, oceans, lakes and rivers. The problem is so severe that researchers have labelled the trash permanent pollution. Well, joining me now here in the studio is Hilal Elver. She's a United Nations Special Rapporteur on Right to Food, also a law professor at the University of California, Santa Barbara, and Los Angeles campuses. Thanks so much for joining us, Ms. Elver. So we're wasting and dumping food when hundreds of millions starve. We're taking all these tons of trash and throwing them into the oceans and suffocating the oceans. Apart from that, I, I hear we're nice people. How bad is it? I think it's very bad. The bad is we don't talk too much, even worse, because we don't have a real consciousness about what is happening because of this, uh, especially plastics that mm -hmm. in, in our environment. So it's very important to raise the consciousness that uh, to take care of the mm -hmm. problem, which is not possible to clean up. Mm -hmm. We can only stop. So when when I read, in preparation for this, a million plastic bottles are bought around the world a minute. By 2050, according to the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, the ocean will contain more plastic by weight than fish. Yes. I struggle to understand that. Why is it that I struggle to understand that? What's wrong with me? Well, it, it is nothing wrong with you. Actually, this is the reality which is very uh, problematic. And in order to show the uh, severity of the problem, they use this kind of figures mm -hmm. to explain why it is so serious. That's why it's very serious if mm -hmm. we understand the fish population is equal to population of the plastic um, waste is so incredibly important to understand. Mm -hmm. That's why the foundations and all the researchers try to make this kind of figures to make their point, which is many, many years they didn't do it. Right, so, right. But so the suggestion is that, or the implication is that by 2050, if we carry on the way we're carrying on right now, the oceans will Essentially, essentially be dead? Well, uh, oceans will be dead for many other reasons too. Mm -hmm. This is one of the reasons. Uh, you know, the climate change mm -hmm. and fish stocks uh, kind of depletion. These are all important uh, problems. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is important in the plastics, we cannot really reverse them. Mm -hmm. We cannot really go and collect from the ocean uh, bad uh, this kind of what is happening right now right. because uh, basically the uh, the plastics are half of them goes to the ocean half of them goes to the landfill when it goes to the landfill there's an incineration or yes. there's a recycling if they go to ocean we don't have this option anymore and fish eat them up and yes and we actually yeah. practically eating the plastics right that's right. very important and Im uh, impressive that we don't even know the uh, adverse ep effect to our health when we eat fish and all kind of uh, seafoods what kind of uh, plastics we are taking in our uh, body and also same thing for the basically uh, the bottles that we mm -hmm. use uh, uh, drinking for water or uh, sugar drinks uh, this uh, bottles uh, bottles are plastic and if it stays in the very hot or very cold uh, temperature then the uh, chemicals comes uh, to be part of the uh, what is we are uh, uh, eating it's, so yeah, that's it's, very serious it's really horrible right yes um, I'm glad you mentioned climate change because what would you say to those people who say okay we accept that climate change is man-made it's a real problem it's mm. it's, it's an existential threat let's deal with it and now they've just come around to trying to deal with climate change and now you're telling them, hey, we need to sort out the oceans and plastic 
And what if they say, well, if that's more of a threat, can't we deal with this first and, and sort out your plastic story later? Well, actually, the plastics were earlier. That's very interesting because mm. this environmental pollution uh, uh, came uh, to our uh, kind of uh, conversation in 1960s, 70s. At that time, there was no climate change. We were not talking about the climate change, but climate change was so serious and important. When we started the climate change, we forget about many serious environmental problems. So that's very interesting that you raised mm. this issue, which is more serious. Actually, they, they are really connected because if we talk about the plastics are the uh, oil uh, production, you know, so we, we the uh, more we use the plastic, more we are uh, threatening the environment, right. the climate change, because the CO2 and the fossil fuel problems and the carbon, uh, carbon uh, production. So that is a serious. We have to deal with the every area of our life uh, not to really uh, create a, a man-made disaster as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. And this plastics also are very interesting. It comes with the modernity. Mm -hmm. Before 1950s, there was not a problem about the plastics. Mm -hmm. After 1950, after the World War II, uh, the chemical uh, companies are started to, be, uh, to become much more active. And then our uh, lifestyles change. We started to eat in supermarket material which mm. is supermarkets basically packaging and the many of the plastics most of the plastics are going to the packaging right. so that more we eat packaging food and more we drink uh, the bottled waters more we uh, I've creating seen bananas environment. in I've seen bananas in plastic covering now I mean think yes. of that right that's yes. the most insane it's thing I've ever seen in my life yeah. okay so who's the biggest culprit or who are the biggest culprits are they corporations or are they countries and who? Altogether, we all are responsible. First of all, we are, as a consumers, we can make choices and changes. But and name someone. Name someone? Or some country or something. I oh, well, the biggest... Uh, I know we're all responsible, but who would you sort of say, hey, Biggest polluters. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you about the plastics. Which country is the most uh, pollutant in relation to plastics? Number one is China. Number two in Indonesia. Number three is Vietnam. And Turkey is 14. United States is 20. Mm -hmm. Why United States is 20? Because basically developed countries, they are polluting, but at the same time they are recycling and incinerating. But the countries like Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, they have a lot of uh, uh, offshores. I mean, the coastal regions, that's why they are sending a lot of pollu uh, polluted materials without making any kind of cleanup. So it's it's a, a basically rich country, poor country problem. Rich countries are producing more waste, but at the same time, they, they have much more uh, the kind of sophistication that they can handle it. Despite this, only 20-30% of recycling and incineration is happening right now. 80%, 79% goes directly to the either landfill or ocean. This is incredible. Right. I mean, if it you is. think about it. Biggest corporation? Yes. That's a culprit? Well, the uh, chemical companies are culprit right. for anything. Right. This is one of them. Of course, the answer is this is the modern lifestyle. If you don't have a bottle of water and if there is a no cleaning a clean water, how do you uh, make the people uh, drinking cleaning water? Yes. That's their argument. Right. So what we should do, we should bring the clean water to everyone else with the governments are responsible on that. So we all have to work together. Governments should regulate, corporations stop making so much profit, and the, we consumers are trying to consume more responsibly. Hilal Elver, I've learned so much from you. Thank you very much for Thank joining us. Thank you very us. much.